and welcome to ABC News. I'm Ros Childs. Inside and outside the Parliament, the Morrison government is running full tilt today to pass key elements of its pre-election budget and to sell it to voters. Hundreds of millions of dollars worth of tax cuts and cash payments are the budget centrepiece. But in an unexpected last-minute change, the government is bundling an extra $80 million into the package. People on unemployment benefits and other welfare payments will now get help with their energy bills after originally being excluded from the cash payments worth between 75 and 125 million dollars. Here's political reporter Dan Conifer. Prime Minister and Treasurer emerge as travelling salesmen. Australians can keep more of what they earn. Courting votes on Parliament's forecourt before blitzing breakfast airways. Prime Minister, good morning to you. Prime Minister, good morning to you. We're joined now by the man of the moment, Mr Frydenberg, good morning. They're spruiking a forecast surplus, the first in a decade. We have announced and will deliver the $7.1 billion surplus. This is a significant surplus. It's not a wafer-thin surplus. And selling income tax cuts. That'll flow from July. This is a budget which is a fair go for those who have a go. And if Australians keep having a go, like they have been under our government, then we're only going to get stronger. Low and middle income earners were due to get an extra $530 tax offset payment. Now the government's doubled that refund to more than $1,000 for singles and more than $2,100 for families, paying 4.5 million people within weeks. Well, imitation's the sincerest form of flattery. Labor promised a similar-sized tax cashback last year. Whoever wins the election, there'll be that round of uh, tax cuts. Much of this budget has been aimed at shutting down potential Labor campaign attacks on tax cuts and also on Medicare payments to doctors and even commuter car parks around the country. Without a majority on the floor of Parliament, the government can't afford to offend anyone let alone lose a single seat. I think the eyes have it. One of the only budget bits that will pass Parliament before the election is an energy supplement for some welfare recipients. And it now includes people on New Start after they were originally excluded. The energy supplement will be extended to people on New Start. It will be? It will be. But that wasn't payment. announced on the weekend, so it, that's it, something new? That is something new. It wasn't even in last night's budget papers. Never before have I seen a budget unravel quite as spectacularly or quickly as this. Scott Morrison's expected to quickly call an election after Parliament rises this week and there'll be one simple choice at the end. You vote for Bill Shorten, you guaranteed Bill Shorten. You vote for me, Scott Morrison as Prime Minister, you guaranteed me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Deciding who'll drive Australia for the next three years. Dan Conifer, ABC News, Canberra.